if you really have to sum it up, what the experience of independent workers is, is high taxation and low representation. They pay as they should, federal income tax, state income tax, but what they shouldn't is pay too much for the city in their income tax. And so when we come to the unincorporated business tax, it really is the salt in the wound here. It's the 4%, uh, it's a 4% tax that stays in for incomes above 50000 And as you, so yes, the number one issue is let's exempt freelancers and sole proprietors from the unincorporated business tax. In fact, in our internal surveys, we found that 50% of our members had nothing saved for retirement, and that tax going right into their retirement would go a long way. Let's count this group. Let's find out how big it is because there's no counting vehicle, and if you don't know how big it is, then how are you ever going to be running any numbers to see about revenues and shortfalls? And, and I would just add, before I get to my final point, that the commuter tax is an issue for New York City, and it's, an, it's a legitimate issue, but it is not going to be done on the backs of freelance workers in New York. 